So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men, like Mr. Bronte, like Mr. Cornwall, that ruined the West, that ruined everything. So, there's no folk like that in Tahiti? There's folks like that everywhere. But in Tahiti, to my understanding, folks feed them to sharks rather than make them kings. <laughs> <laughs> that would be paradise. Exactly. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Plenty, Bill. You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. I said you're with John. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Oh, 
shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... <clears throat> Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. <clears throat> I think Dutch Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be 
this dog oh, stuff. Oh, Our friends, the oh. Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. <laughs> <laughs> 